Good afternoon. I wanted to go over some open source intelligence today. And so Alexa, stop. Of course, Alexa decides to speak up right when I uh, when I start this up. So we're going to discuss a program called Spiderfoot today. Uh, to install it, you're just going to do a sudo apt install Spiderfoot, just like that. And then it'll ask you for your Kali password. Obviously, I'm not doing this on the GCU Kali box. I'm doing it on a regular, but the command is exactly the same. You shouldn't have any issues. And obviously, I'm in terminal. All right, so once Spiderfoot's up and going, you're going to type in Spiderfoot switch L and then 127.0.0.1. And then we have to give it a port number. I'm going to use 5050 for my port number. Uh, and of course, I need to put Spiderfoot, not Spider, because I'm on a roll today. Uh, you'll notice that, on, at least on mine, it is blue. Uh, I'm running the latest rendition of Kali Linux for this uh, exercise. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit enter. I might have to put a, a sudo in it. I do not because I've already done sudo before. And you can see that it's saying starting a web server 127.0.0.1 5050. So now I'm just going to open up Firefox. And on Firefox, I'm going to go to 127.0.0.1 port 5050. It's like that. It's going to prime in, and you can see that I already did a scan for purposes of example. We're going to run a new scan. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what I did on the previous one. I'm going to use my email address, ChesterGK at Hotmail, just because why not? And then it says scan target. I'm just going to type that again, again, Hotmail. And again, you can rename it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, and then once we're done, I'm going to gather all the information. Now, you don't have to use an email. You can use a domain. It gives you all the examples right here, right? There's plenty of stuff that you guys can do uh, as opposed to Maltigo. So I'm going to run that scan now, uh, and it's going to start running the process, but I'm going to stop it because I've already done this, and I wanted to show you the example. So if I go to scans, you can see I ran this one yesterday uh, to prepare for this class, and if I just hit this, it'll tell you that it's already finished. And I can rerun the scan or I can clone the scan. I can do all that other good stuff. And you can see it has zero correlations. There's four elements. It's finished. It was finished yesterday at that time. Uh, and if I just jump in here, I can actually download the results. So I'm going to stop selected because we don't need to run that anymore. Yes, stop. Uh, and I am going to export selected, click it, and then export selected into a, I'm just going to do an Excel file. Open that sucker up. And of course, I don't have Excel. I'm so used to my laptop. So let me try that again. I'm going to do an Excel. Let's do a CSV. There we go. I'm going to open up the file. And you can see that right off the bat, it found four little items on it. If I expand that out a little bit, you can see that it is email, SFP, email, ChesterG.com, reputation, high, suspicious, false, references, 14. Uh, you see SpiderFit, UI, ChesterG.com, zero Hotmail.com, so on and so forth. And it goes through and it tells you all the good stuff. Now, while it wasn't very good for my email address, what it's really good for is if I do a new scan, I could do an IP address. I could do domain, maybe Amazon.com. I could do anything. This is all open source intelligence. It's a little bit more straightforward than, say, something like Maltigo, where you have to go in there and you have to, to grab all that. Now, Maltigo is going to give you a lot more in-depth analysis, but SpiderFoot, is absolutely great if you just want to get something started. Like, give me some information. It'll go through and it uses the normal pipelines. So I like uh, Spiderfoot, and of course, there's other programs that you can use as well. But I thought you guys might be interested in this one since we are in Ethical Hacking course. So I will get this posted on YouTube, and have a great day. I hope you learned something. Thanks.